Hello guys, welcome to episode 3 of the Mid to Diamond series and in this episode we are going with Akshan. He is currently one of the strongest mid lane picks we have at the moment, like his win rate is insane. Around 53% so I'm not sure how he has not gotten nerfed yet but you know if you want some free elo and if you also like playing this champ, now's the chance. And uh, playing against the Diana and that's Full AP one shot seems like based on the uh, keystone and the summoner spell. But having resolve against you know these assassins that's pretty good. Makes it really hard for them to engage onto you. And you also have to abuse like the range advantage you have early on. We'll try to do this against the Diana. It's been a while since I played this champ, but he's fun. He's definitely fun. And also PTA of course due to his passive that gives him double auto attacks you get to proc this really fast as well so this is a standard go to on Akshan. So Diana can start her Q or her W uh, we have to wait and see and if she starts the Q then of course you want to be dodging that so your bone plating does not get procced later on when she gets level 3 and such because then she's going to trade. I might have started Q and last it. Yeah. That's fine. But we have teleport, she has ignite. That means that we don't have to in the lane. If we are getting low HP, we can just back off. Stepping up a little bit to zone away from some of the minions. Even if we miss something, we are still getting the XP. She will not if she zoned away. And she is staying far back as she should. Now she should have the W. Remember, against Diana, the key is to not get hit by that Q because then if she engages, her dash will not reset. Get hit by the Q, you would have to back off and wait for the mark to disappear. Also, Grace, you're playing against, and he can certainly also gank early on. This wave is going to push towards us. We don't do anything further. The passive proc. I am to harass when she's walking up to queue the minions. And then using that E out, so when your E is on cooldown, guys, you have to chill. Because then you don't have any mobility, so that's when typically they're looking to punish you. Okay, she's not resetting, that's good. Don't have Ignite, otherwise we could probably go for the kill, but we have Maokai coming in and we saw Graves on the bot side river. No, not to engage. Castana is pretty tanky with her W. Because if it procs, then it's going to reset, giving her another shield. So if you don't have ignite against her, it's pretty hard to take her down. There's the spot side. Fine, we got a little bit of damage off. It's all good. He can still all in, by the way, because she has ignite and electrocute, so do not underestimate her damage. If you give her lead early on, she is going to snowball. It just becomes way too hard. If you want to poke her right now, you would have to make her use the Q and miss it and then you can go in. So she hit it right now, so we just have to back off. And you can certainly abuse the bone plating. Look at the CS difference. So so far it's pretty good. We also have teleport. Well, great. It kind of sucks that this one hides the uh, bone plating icon below. Because if I want to be trading with her right now, 
And I want Bone Plating to be up because it's actually going to help a ton. If she goes in here, I'm gonna poke her. Not sure how the kill is dying. Three times in five minutes. How does that happen? Get out. She has level six. Things are becoming tough. Take this one, then we'll big off. Let's get out. Oh, actually, all of them are losing lane. Not good. So, I think we do like this. I'm not straight up buying the Nuncova because having mobility is really important. If you don't have any mobility, you can be really doomed. But lane also needs to move. Nice. I messed up the dash, but it's okay. We got the kill. Looks like they also wanted me to get the kill. She has level 6 and look at that burst item she has. Remember, she can use her ultimate to cancel your dash, your E. So do not use it when she's engaging. You would have to flash out. Awesome, we also got a Drake. Kale is going to scale up. It should be a bit easier for her now that she is level 6. That was... I should not have trusted that guy. Why did I think that was the Maokai coming? You see, this is what happens. You don't have the tankiness to do so. And just get demolished. We'll just stay here for a bit. So you the Ignite and the ults. Oh, whoops, my bad. My bad, that was so dumb. Oh, they're gonna lose the fight now. Oh, wait, that's a good ult. It just ran away. My bad, my bad. I should have. I should not have done that. Okay. Right. As long as they survive, we're gonna scale insane, insane well. Like, they have a strong ability to mid game. Our late game is ridiculous. We have Jinx, Senna, and the kill. I'm gonna push this out and then we'll go bot if they don't die. They did die. Unfortunate. They died way too fast. See if we can uh, make a way bot side. I mean, you gotta abuse the uh, roaming, but it looks like they're going to reset. I can't swan recall. Canceling his recall. Like he did it himself. Don't use the E like this unless you are absolutely certain that no one is coming to uh, mess you up. He'll stop dying, so that's good. Okay, I might be dead. He should not even be there. No one can deal with the Garen. And okay, now we have Senai coming in. Bro, imagine he's allowed to do this. Kale even has hold, but she's not moving. Yeah. 
Nice, and I got the shot down as well. That's perfect. Perfect. I also made sure we kept the distance. Otherwise, he's probably gonna one-shot us. Because he has tier 2 boots, so he spins faster and gets a lot more damage off, and he also has Ignite, I assume. Pulling that one is fine. Ooh, shot down. Nice. Maybe that's what Jinx needed. The Senna to leave the lane. Alright, let's get the Kragen Slayer. You can also get stuff like the Witsend if, for example, a mid lane is getting insanely fat or something. That's also completely fine to purchase. I think in this case, do they have a lot of CC? Not really. I also don't want to buy these, so I think I just itemized towards the Blade of the Rune King. And then I buy boots later on, because I don't want to sit on one armor component against the Diana. Because they have 480, so these boots are going to do a lot. Get the uh, sneaky. Oh, okay, he flashed. The thing is that they can hide behind the towers, which will block your ultimate. But the flash is out and Kale died again, okay? Not sure what's going on top. It's a pretty easy matchup for the kill as well. Get out. I'm not gonna dive here, like it's pretty risky to do. She has a shield. Hill's farming, her farm is okay, but she's just dying a lot. Not sure how that's happened because it's probably one of the easiest matchups for Kale. Compared to all that terrible stuff you can get to play against. But she's going to scale up, so let's hope it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna recall here. Oh, she is gone. Get this, do I CP? Oh, she missed. Oh my god. What? A joke. Nice, beautiful. Tuck's um, lost pretty much all the plates. But we are far up in CS and hopefully that means we're getting another Drake. Okay, maybe I should have went all in. Did not think that ultimate was coming. Bro, she's trying to fight, that's why she's dying so much. This guy keeps AFK pushing. Alright, let's do the same thing. I can almost afford Blade of the Rune King. Like, it's going to be an insane spike. As soon as you have these two items, and also the boots, to start running people down. I should definitely base, but I'm greedy. Probably Garen is gonna chase me, I can imagine. Let's hope he does not have his flash up. It'll be a bit disgusting, honestly. Bro, what? She flashed? 
Nah, she's trolling. Bro, how am I getting... It only happens two games ago, this exact same thing. Like, how do you even die? It should never be possible. In this lane, really cannot happen. I'm very confused. So we have played the Rune King. We have Kragen Slayer and almost here two boots. Oh my days, yeah, I cannot step up on this one. Let's hope he does not try to dive our bot lane, which he probably will. Ready to go bot just in case. Whoops. Ah, bro, what? Really? Like, what? How disgusting is that? Even had the ultimate up. I guess I was dead regardless then. And superstar kill. Okay, nice. That's pretty good. They're losing a lot, but... That are hitting... Oof, close one. She's two levels down. In a lane, she can never die in. I have no words, bro. But also disgusting how tanky this champion becomes without having anything that makes him tanky. In tier deserves Primal Ben. I don't know why there's so many of these disgusting players today, like what? But that's what I said, Riot does not punish these players, that's why they're allowed to um, do this as much as they want. They find the Israel. He has a huge shutdown. And whoever he gets to queue right now, we're just going straight down. And this is what sucks, because none of us can push up into the jungle anymore, because there's like one player who um, single-handedly made the game harder on purpose. But the good thing about Akshan is that one good fight... ...can revive your entire teammate... ...group. They're fighting. They did not die, so that's something. Never mind. Oh, she got ignited. Hell is coming in. Did you do anything? Okay. Wow, she got a kill. Okay, let's go. He's gonna chase all the way and die to Garen. We can do this one. A scoundrel left alone will always be a scoundrel. That's a skull crab. You know skull crab? Kings cannot defend. Just kill the wave, bro. Oh my god. 
Oh, she survived. Nice. Good job. Things also survives. I guess we are giving up on that one. The Brom is probably what's mostly annoying for me right now, you know, besides the Garam being fed. Look at this, like his wall is so annoying. Oh, I messed up my, my bet. to TP because of this ape being on AFK split pushing adventure. Plus kill somehow dead again. And he's low 16. So yeah we're just gonna get one shot. That's why definitely having armor boots here. There's no better purchase. We have the scaling with the Senna as well. Where's the Diana at? Flash out. Let's hope Garen goes spot. Never mind. Feminus is the item to go for. And we can buy it straight up. So now we are huge. Lots of damage, but no tankiness. So if we get CC'd at some point, we're just going down because I use my flash bot side. Are they doing? He died to wait what? Yeah, he is trolling for sure. Oh, that's such a nice combo. Nice. Are they doing the Baron? We have to do this fast. Bro, you have to tank. If the Garan comes and destroys me, I'm. The so Maokai has to engage on the Garan when he comes. Broken uh, graves. Nice. This one. He's gonna die again to the Diana, probably. I don't know why people tilt so much. So strange. I have no idea, like, what's happening. Right, what do we buy? I think Rapid Fire kind of would be ridiculous here. What are they buying? We can also buy Guardian Angel. Or Rapid Fire Cannon. Let's do this. Let's be greedy. Why not? And then a Guardian Angel. Probably going to be the last item. We have so much damage right now. We also had to be so careful because my flash is not up. If I don't know whether Garen has flash up or not, I'm not gonna walk anywhere close to him. I have to stay back. The thing is that even if your teammates die, you can still save the game if you get a takedown on that player who uh, destroyed your team. It must be nice if you can like walk within range and get like a rapid fire cannon proc on the carry or something. Like this, why does she ult? We're playing 4 versus 5. Why we have to be so cautious 
of any flanks coming in because we will not have our top lane coming. Why are they getting themselves locked up like this? I don't understand. Just have to wait a little bit and not start the Drake yet because Kale is pushing. Now somebody has to go top. Okay, let's take this before she dies. Let's hope they can win this. They had to base as well. Okay, nice. Alright, no point selling this yet. We need the Guardian Angel, I think. I think you can also go for what's they call Jack Show. I think that's what I'll be doing actually, the Jack Show. This one, this should be good, right? I hate shooting them in the back. I don't, get to I don't just get one shot, because it helps against both. All of them. At this point, I just need to be tanky so I don't get blasted in one combo. Jack Show. Right, AD carry, edit, just had to hold, he's almost 16, but he's level 18, like that's insane bro, he also has the hole breaker. Oh my bad, that was so dumb, that was so dumb. Okay, now we lose, they're not defending top. Bro, why do we get these griefers like out of nowhere and they're just nobody's like pinging them but they just tilt by themselves it makes no sense like if you don't have the intellect to play rank it then why even go for it because you're not gonna climb this way you just have to hold and cancel a couple recalls as long as they don't die just wait clear guys I can't CP. The Brom is so annoying for Akshan because he can just, you know, block everything I have. This is also my mistake that costed us, you know, uh, the inhibitors because I went in on the Israel. Let's go towards him while they're low. Bro. Can you can you leave the red? Bro. Bro, what is this guy doing? Okay, just die. Have fun. Absolute monkey man, he went for the red buff instead of helping the team. Absolute disaster of a player. Then he comes in after everybody's dead and thinks we can engage now. We'll try and hold. See if we can hold. Wants to. Uh... Okay, that's another ape. Right, Maokai is back. And Kale is 16, so if she actually tries right now, we can win it. We could take the Baron. And if Kale, you know, plays it properly, no one can kill. It's for the ult. For it. Go for it. We had to do this before Grace is back. And also we have to not be stacked up against the Diana. He's backdooring, but we can take this fast enough to do it. I'll defend. 
And we have Jack Show. Let's go. Unfortunately, I am way too tanky for this now. Jack Show. Okay, they just all died with the uh, burn buff. LTP incoming, we just push mid because we cannot make it work. I could TP, but I don't know how many are there. It's actually nice. Got a lot. We'll go for this. And let's pray that Garen is not here. If we die, then it's GG's. It's not here yet, so the thing we have to do here is that we kill the graves. We're gonna lose this anyways if we don't take it now. Okay, let's wait. Oh, what? No way, bro. His Q. Oh, my days, bro. We can end. And then if Kale is coming, then we can end. We have to wait for the Jinx. Kale is not coming. We have to wait and not stack up like this because one Diana ult is going to mess us up. Where's the Diana? They're coming from behind. And he even had the ult. Yikes, it's GG's. Maokai was not paying any attention to that flank, and he's the only one who could defend us from this. But this is what I meant. Probably GG's, because Kale is gonna die and then they just end mid. Bro, this kill is such a failure. Yikes, man. You just, you know, when you do stuff like this, you just deserve to get insta ban. Such obvious griefing as well. You'll not be able to defend this, GG's. So let's head on towards the next one. Hopefully we don't get this griefer again. Like we got two games in a row now. Welcome back guys, game 2, and playing against Anivia. This can be really annoying because she has a lot of self peel and if you mess up this E right here, you're gonna get stuck inside that ultimate. Until you die pretty much. I had Teemu, it's also pretty annoying for Akshan, but Yorick should be doing pretty well against that after he gets the uh, hole breaker. Now Rel, a bit annoying, but otherwise it's pretty okay. That's some things you have to watch out for when you're laning against the Nivea as a short range champ, but I will start explaining that as we are laning, so it's easier to see. Flash Ghost, Flash Ignite, so if I make a room topside, he will get punished big time. Um, and then we have AP in the jungle, luckily. You see, we are... Immobile champs into Anivia. That's what she likes playing against. So Anivia usually starts with a Q. Um, it moves pretty slow, but when you don't have boots, it's pretty easy to get hit. If you're walking up to trade with her, you want to be taking that one out first. So you try to bait her into using it. And if you can dodge it, then you can trade pretty easily. Still not using it. There it is. We got that one out and we also got a pretty good trade-off. Because you have to play aggressive early on on this champ. Especially if it is against the mage because they cannot match that DPS. 
it'll start becoming annoying later on so you want to um, get a lead before that happens but the Q is really crucial to dodge at any point and remember her wall it has a pretty high cooldown but that one can be really annoying if you're trying to dash onto her or trying to dash away and end up body blocking you I think I might consider going top actually. Let's see if I can push it out in time. Got a low bone plating. Doing magic. Can I make a roam top? Bro, just don't die, bro. Oh, she's spam pinging him to back off. Okay. That's good, so you get some time to farm up. And just stay out of vision. You can actually do this also if you play Twist of Fate, you know, these roaming type champs. If you go out of vision, the enemy laner will just spam ping a team has to back off and that might, you know, make it easier for your team to um, farm up in an otherwise difficult lane. He's gonna flash the Janna, right? Oh. oh, he's going for Draven? I missed that. No point moving for that one. See the um, wall, how annoying it can be. But it has a high cooldown. The most annoying thing is when she gets low 6 because then she just AFK shoves. That's a uh, not very intelligent jungle we have. She also has the egg. So the thing is that if she has teleport, when she's about to die and go into the egg, she can just channel her TP and then she can get out that way. Because we don't have any CC. Nice. Worth it because he has TP and he's gonna outskill anyways. Gonna stay up here. Okay, we see him. Nice. Young redeemed himself. Really, why I want to take out the egg if I can. Because then she won't have it for next time. But she might just go ahead and reset. We're just gonna push this because she wants to TP back, anyways. Lost the cannon, so that's good. And a place of water here. So she got level 6. Now, what Anemia does is that she just perma shoves the way with the ult. So you can't really do much in the lane. Um, so, what you have to do is that you try to get a roam off. Try to roam your way to victory. That's a good recall. Don't buy this component first because mobility is so important. Like I said, the last game as well. Unless I can afford that item and tier 1 boots, then I'm not going for it. I'm gonna try to push. That's a good one. Oh, they are tilting. Yeah, it's a real. I'm not gonna move towards that one. That's what happens when you pick Janna as well. It's pretty hard to gank her. Right, almost getting that passive. If I roam right now, she's just gonna shove it.
mount. I'm not messing with the Viego, but the passive is out, so that's good. I just ordered to take that one out. Okay, we're just gonna hover topside then, because Viego's here. And Nevia does not have TP. If she resets, she's going to lose a lot. If she stays, I might try to dive her. Not stopping for this one. It's gonna mess up my recall timer. Rand just has to farm up, get his right eyes and his low and then he can provide a lot of utility with the slows in fights. And then we'll do the damage. Portland did not see that one. Let's get over there. He has flash, okay, nice. I have alt up in five. Awesome, good. Oh, shut down. He's losing top? What? Why is that? I mean, uh, he still needs his items. Timo is certainly annoying early on. But I think what sucks for Timo is that he really struggles with dealing with the ghouls. Especially that ultimate. So Yorick just has to chill early on until he gets the items. Then he should be good to go. This ultimate is what you have to be careful of, because if you get stuck inside that one and you already used your E, then you might have to flash out. Let's go and reset. Let's spend the gold we got. Probably a Mercury Treads game here. Due to the TC they have and the AP, helps against the Anivia, the Timo. And also the CC from the Rel. That's alright. Raven's actually ahead, even though they died a couple times. But he's doing objective when I'm not in the lane. It's a bit risky. Let's see if I can make it in time. I have to sacrifice the cannon for this guy. Assaults. Just let him die. He didn't even get his ultimate off. Rip Yorick and his uh, tower plates. Let's see if we can get one before Diego comes. Might be up here, so, so I'm just gonna run all the way. And okay. Well, that's a massive jungle gap, that's for sure. Huge jungle gap. Awas is running around like a headless chicken, doesn't really know what he's doing. That jungle is constantly invading. And it sucks for Yorick because he can't do anything in the lane. That's the feels bad man. But let's hope he gets to uh, scale up with his items. Because if we try to gank the Timo right now, what happens is that we just run into the shrooms and then if uh, Viego is there, we might even end up dying. But just do the safe way and reset when I can afford this item. We have a pretty massive CS lead over the enemy as well. But it doesn't take much for her to start become annoying. 
Teemu is something we absolutely cannot deal with because of his Q blind just blocking out our auto attacks. So that sucks. I want to engage onto the Nivea, but I have a feeling the Viego is just gonna be here. Yeah, so she's a bit lower now, so if you want to contest the Drake. Nice, there we go. There we go. Got him, now we need the Drake. He has to take the Drake. And CP back. It just has to wait a little bit, then I'll help. It's so. And I just TP mid then. Get a control ward. Kinda surprised that he did not have a shutdown. I thought the Viego would have a shutdown. But he didn't. I'm not ganging the team with up. Good luck with that one. We give them vision if Viego's there. Sounds like he's topside. Probably gonna try to do uh, the one that's about to spawn here. I'm gonna try to push it in and then annoy him. I can imagine he's up here. Bro, can you just wait? Why are you trying to fight? I have to get out, Anivia. Cannot use my E because of her wall. That would uh, cancel it. But it's another game where we have like top running it down. I don't know what's with my luck. Ultimate is out. Jungle's not here, so no point in us trying to contest. So we'll just try to get some pushing going on. Well, uh, that's going to be hard to defend. Please get a fast, guys, before the entire team is coming. Ren is gonna die, he's dead. I'm just gonna push. I'm not gonna walk into the jungle when I don't have vision of the rest of the players, so I'm just gonna push it out. Because this team is gonna destroy all of us. The worst part is that, once again, I gave my top a counter pick, so I swapped so he could get the last pick and counter. And for some reason, they are always failures. Massive failures, I don't know why. At least the tower is not down yet. We need the sweeper for the shrooms. Just reset then, I guess. Even though I can't really afford anything, probably. Level 11, Tito. It's always the top. It has to be some kind of curse, I think. But you just have to gr grind through it, guys. So I'm going sideline here so I can get a bigger lead over the Anivia. But if they get caught mid, it's going to be really bad for me. Plus, we lose the tower. If they back off, it's fine. They obviously can kill the Teemo. 
poke him a little bit. Nice, there we go. There we go, just had to be a bit patient. That's a huge shot down as well, so now I'm gonna get the player to the Rune King. Got it. Also really dumb of me to recall here by the way guys, don't do that. Can I just hit Terminus? That's a pretty bad hook. We had to try to contest this one while um, Yorick is pushing top. He died really fast. Jesus. Just take this one while he's not here. Jesus, man. What is that CC, bro? Wait. Why is he not helping? Hello? Oh, he's so dead. Well played, bro. Good job. I at least kept him away. I don't know what this guy was doing completely. Lost being mid for no reason. He could have helped with that Drake. But yeah, it's um, Team also has this new item and AFK pushing spree. Yorick has nothing. Good luck playing against that. I don't know where Viego is at and the uh, Skull Crab is spawning. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling. Viego could be coming. Alright. Luckily, we have the damage and he's mid. If they get him, they'll be sick. But that's too much to ask for, I think. Thank god, man. Jesus, bunch of disaster player spot and top. Pretty much getting the biggest tapes you can get these last couple of games, so... Yeah. What's going to happen at some point? I'm not going here because the rel was nearby. I don't know why I need to stop giving my top counter picks because they are so bad anyways. Even when they get a good matchup they still end up losing so I think it's better that I get the counter pick and then I, you know, snowball that way. Go for the uh, Jinx. He's alone now. Up here. Bro, really? That's disgusting, man. What? Is that honestly? But I feel like I'm also hit by a curse or something when I'm trying to play Akshan because it's not normal, man. Like you, you're going to see int at some point, but people, everybody inting, that does not happen this often, no matter which elo you're playing in. And they're getting the Baron right now, so yeah, this is going to be really hard. This is going to be really hard. No shame in 
and starting over. So I tell myself that. The only good thing is that we had two drakes so far. But there's so many targets and it's impossible for me to um, just destroy somebody because all of them are fit. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? This is the guy he lost to? Here we go. Can't even move. Does I have such a disgusting comp? letting these guys out they're gonna be stuck in here I'm not gonna let them FF I think they can just in games and then go next fast now nah, I'm not letting them they're gonna be stuck in here we got the terminus let's hope the last guy would snow don't play drone again please just delete please don't ever play drone again such an embarrassment to watch. And Timo could be hiding somewhere. Then just destroy me with Ignite. He is here because the Baron and the minions are buffed up. Oh, it even blocks my E. Yeah, so I actually get to deal zero damage if you kills me. I mean, it makes sense because the E also procs ETA. And meanwhile, our level 12 jungle. Can I get the Timo at least? And all the information. Also better I get the kills. These guys are not doing anything. We go for the Anivia. Oh, she's so strong now. It's going to be uh, pretty much impossible, I think. Even if I flash your Q, the ultimate has barely any cooldown. That's important. Right? QSS could be great because of the CC they have, so I might consider that item actually. They're having a lot of damage as well now. Damage they're not expecting. And maybe we can sneak in a couple kills and then get towers that way, who knows? Team was alive. And he could be just waiting around somewhere. I have to constantly try to get these sneaky ways of getting the damage off so they are low for when the next fight starts. But if Timo cues me, then it's just auto win. No passive on the Anivia. I think I'm gonna get a QSS. Don't think there's any other option, and they're fighting without me. Nice. Good job, guys. You will climb for sure, no doubt. Definitely climb. Oh my days. 
I will also climb. We will all climb, guys. Oh man, this game was lost anyways. We have four animals, so that there's no way you're going to win a game like this when all of them are running it down, because you only play one champ. You can only do so much with one champ. When four of them are getting this heavily outclassed, which should not happen this often in this silo, like, these are same rank players. But it happens sometimes and then, yeah, it's lost. So you have no choice. Well, let's get one more. Alright guys, the third game. Uh, can we win this one? We'll see. They have a pretty bonkers comp with the, the Briar, the Samira and the Nautilus, but the rest is okay. Top lane is pretty easy to gank. Mid is okay as well, like he just stays back in way clear, so... Let's see if we can get some good roams off before it starts going crazy bot side. Nautilus Samira is uh, really OP. Oh, they want to invade. I'm not gonna give them uh, all those stacks. Could be camming up here. He walks all the way up. Because he might walk through. Uh... I just check just in case. Yeah, he did. Yeah, a little bit of damage. But is that smaller mid? That's why I pinged the Talia to stay here. But then again, they would pro probably also miss up her jungle clear, so... Fine. See who's mid. It has to be 6, right? Okay. So 6 is more of a poke matchup. He scales really well. And has... Long range. We want to force fights early on. And he has that one empowered auto attack. Um, so you don't want to tank that one if possible, you know. And the way to trade against him after you use Q, that's when you can go in. Do not stay close to the minions. Usually six players, they try to hit the minions and then they also hit you with the AoE damage. Like this one. Stay a bit further away from the minions if you can. Oh, that one hit. Rising. So it certainly help a lot if you play with Ignite because I feel like I could secure a lot more kills that way, but then again, TP is just OP. If the enemy mid has TP and you don't, they're just getting a massive advantage that way. Because it is so safe playing with teleport. One, and he's low HP. That's a big wave here. Why am I getting pinked? That's a what here. It's a big wave, so you also have to be careful of that stuff. Especially if you risk getting ganked by the enemy jungle. And 6 also has that W that, you know, puts him back. One HP. Talk about being really unlucky. What's my Yasu doing under the tower? What is happening? Always the top lane. Right, let's get boots. He has no flash. So it's actually a free gang for Talia. If she's paying attention. And we'll just TP back. Working out bot side. Okay, not bad. Raya is really OP, like the champ has insane burst and tankiness and everything at once, like I still don't understand how she works.
You're not gonna catch him like this. Lucky, they even saw her. Looks like we have to roam a lot. So, uh, probably we'll just reset here, I think, unless he cancels the recall. He walks up here, I'm gonna eat through. Anyway, so it takes a while for him to shove it. Unless he decides to ult it. Doubt. Some people just don't want to pay with their lives. He also should be winning pretty hard after level 6 as well. He should be fine topside unless he ends somehow. He has the W. You can use that to a disengage with. So after you bait this one out, then you can all in him. That is the only uh, CC he has. That is not a. That is a hard CC. But the other one is just a slow with a C minefield. I have a Briar and I think the gem has like some sort of insane mobility. I'm not quite sure how it works still, but certainly can be very annoying to play against. I think I feel like Briar is always annoying to play against. And a recall is fine. And I try to push it. Oh, it even flushed. Did I get a shutdown or anything? There's actually no shutdown on her yet. That's a bit strange. Flash us out. Question is, who do we gank? The fact that Yasu is still not winning lane, so I think it's a bit waste trying to play around that guy for sure. But, uh, I think it has to be bot. Like, if this guy is already not winning now, he's not gonna win later. Good. Continue, bro. He's getting nothing. Who's getting altered? Is it bot lane? Have alts. Just use your alts. Let's take one at a time. Alright, let's go. You know you had that coming, right? Took a while for that ult. Another thing with 6 is that he has that... Um, execute. Wait, what? Bro, you're not gonna smite? One order attack to get the... Movement speed buff. Get him. Just get him. Okay, that's fine. Yasu getting the kill. That's actually good. Alright, let's back off. 
No one knows what the AD carry was doing up here. Have to run King components. Same build as usual. The only case where I will probably change this up is when they have a lot of AP and I'm falling behind. Okay, this guy cannot play this champ. Makes sense why Smolder was able to get B stacks topside. Awesome. Being chased by Briar, he's not winning that. Bro, what is that? What is that jump? Disgusting, man. Get him Yasuo and I, I had to ult right here because I it looks like this guy was messing up. Can I get this before Nautilus or somebody comes? Okay, he's bot. Right, just to play it. Now he should start snowballing. He also got the kill up here. He basically got two kills donated. Looks like I had to TP top. Oh, what are these guys doing? What are these guys doing? Oh my god, you guys are such apes. Oh my god, man, what is that? I mean, do anything about the prior? Like, look at the items. Oh, he did not die. That's so sad. That is so sad, man. That is so sad. I thought he was going to die so I could E out. Of course, that's never how it works. That is never how it works. Okay, good. Still losing top, which is a bit disgusting. And when you go even against the hyper scaling champ, then it's losing even though you're going even because they scale better. But she has this item, like she has insane damage and inside damage and mobility, so it's like pretty hard to understand what a champ can do during a fight. I can get the six. Ching. Like how? Okay, that was so lucky. Yes, that was warded or what? One HP again. Talk about being really unlucky. Is this thing? And we have to do it this way. I'm gonna push this and then I'll come and help. Because if I walk in here, I'm gonna flank myself against the Briar that's probably going to one shot. It's 
still don't understand what that champ can do. Honestly, it feels really broken. But we are getting out of here. Luckily, we got the Drake. Nice. Good stuff. Beautiful. Brother Yasu still losing top. I don't know how that's happening. I think this guy doesn't understand. Like, he has to, like, um, fix the wave. So Smolder has to walk up in order to see us, and that's when you run him down. But this guy probably just keeps pushing. Like the typical low elo Yasu player. We flashed, we had to ping this one. And we don't see Nautilus, so point and click, that's really difficult for Akshan to deal with. Extremely difficult, because there's no counterplay pretty much. Nautilus, okay, he's bot side at least. Get him. Nice. Wow, he uh, really wanted that kill. Okay, nice. He's fine with his Pantheon because he still deals damage. He's also a carry. Get a water over here, and we have Blade of the Ruin King once we go ahead and reset. Has to be careful of the Briar ult that's probably going to come out at some point. His W is out. Now he's very vulnerable. But I'm not being in because we don't see. We saw Nautilus was mid. We don't see the Briar. If he attacks me with an ult, I'm dead for sure. I'll back off. I had to recall over here, I think. Maybe Bry ult or something tries to snipe me, who knows? I'll CP. Same thing, bind this and then the terminus. I'm gonna buy a lens to clear out the vision. Maybe I should CP it up there. Okay, nice. They don't need my help. Full thing. Nice. Oh, and even survived because I accidentally tanked. Awesome. Good job. Push it. They're all coming in top side. Also the Drake, we also need to focus that one. When we have the lead... That me? Where's the top? I don't even know where it went. Looks like there was top. That's a smaller. Flashes out. We shall go ahead and reset once again and hope they're not coming from this side. Nautilus might actually, so I'm gonna run away. He's coming here. No flash and smaller. We need to go for the Drake. And actually, you don't need to buy these same items every single game. 
Of course, you have to adapt, but you know, I'm getting fed, fed pretty much every game. And this is a high damage build. Feminus also feels really insane on Akshan because you stack it up really fast. Just take it. Sometimes they place a ward in the brush, so it's better if you can pull it out just to make it safer. And they are back in action. Welcome back, guys. You are Go, live. He can farm both sides. Oh. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I am not going for that. Don't worry, guys. Brother Yasu went in a bit too deep. I have to, in fights, I have to be really careful. First of all, I need to wait for Nautilus to use his ults. If I go in without it, he's gonna install me, I die, and they get a shut down, and I win the fight. Okay, we we'll see Briar. I don't see Nautilus. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so I, I should have died right here. Should have died. My bad, guys. I am sorry. If they let me reset right now... Yeah, they won't. They don't care. You can get the tower. that uh, we went in love me as well nice welcome back mr pantheon beautiful that's a good knock up you're certainly trying to ult let's go for this we have to go for this now. Oh, okay, I guess not. Roots. Nice. Pantheon is playing well, but he's also tilting a bit too much, I think. He has he's been having some really good ultimates. We should probably take out the Briar once again, and then... I live by my own Don't an we go for kill after. A Baron. Man, we don't... This is so risky to do as well. We have Windwall for Briar ults. Alrighty. I think here what I do is I probably just go for some tanky stuff. So I can actually survive the fights. Ooh, 
We'll be losing two towers, okay. I can take this Samira out if I wait for Nautilus to reset. Yeah, nice. Just being a bit patient. Did not insta engage because then Nautilus will probably CC me and I die in some way. What are these guys doing? If not, it's an ultimate up right now, that'd be so disgusting. Nice. And they're all back. I don't have vision after the Nautilus. I should go and check, just to be safe. That's also getting this small down. Oh, that's a lot of vaults. Go. I'll buy this one, and then probably what, a... Guardian Angel, I think. Yeah, that's the plan. Luckily, I'm a bit tankier now. Bro, this guy has been escaping with 1 HP. So much now. Like, his luck is actually insane. And that's all that tank item. Well, that's how to die it. If I can heal up before 6 has his ultimate up again. Yeah, I'm out, so yeah. Enemy triple kill, and he also has ice pawn. Really hard to take down now. get the blue or briar comes also six does not get it all right let's go we deny the entire team blue buff that's good when they have a mate it's actually pretty huge should i go top You might keep pushing, because you usually get greedy when you have 6 W to uh, demolish the towers. Keep ping. Yeah. Why are you not ulting? Shit, man. Jesus. He had ultimate up. Who would have killed? Aishan has no CC to deal with that. Fed smaller, it's not very fun. I think we had to stop grouping up. We had to uh, go for picks, and probably better that we just wait for the soul, but it's impossible to siege against a smaller now. We have no comp, 
That's our issue. Like we had the worst possible champs. Look at this. They have a proper come. They have like Nautilus, and then they have Karis who can hide behind. Nice. We had to get a pick here. This won't bring my back. Let's see if we can get a pick while six is dead and then turn that into a Baron. That's the only way we can do anything here. Mola has two broken of a defense with the Qs. Go for Samira when she comes. That's it. Nautilus will not be here in time. That's a TP coming in from brother Yasuo. Jesus guys, what are you guys doing? Go to the Drake. They just... Just have to go to the Drake. Nice. Gucci. And also the Drake. If we can get that one, that'll be sick. Then we just have to group up after. And it's even better if we can push in two waves at once because Smolder has two OP of a wave clear. And it also hits you when he's wave clearing. Right. We have everything now, so if we lose, we are, all of us are boosted. I'm gonna buy the elixir. Plus, I cannot afford Guardian Angel. And the next fight is probably going to be the last one. Yasuo is doing the right thing right now, he just has to wait a little bit so he does not get flanked and then we push in two waves at once like I said. That's how you do it against champs who are really good at defending. Nivea, Caitlyn, Smolder. Be careful on this side, I'm just gonna go invisible so... I don't get demolished at once. They just have to back off. We go mid now. And this is what we repeat. When they're coming mid, we back off and then they push top side. That's what we have to do. If people understand that, it will be a lot easier to win. We could also be pushing bot, but uh, I'm too scared of walking far away from my team. We have a cannon dealing the damage. Just protecting it. Got a little bit of damage. If they engage, it's gonna be so hard for us. Oh no. They dodged it, nice. Oh, small dolls. Bro, I could not even move this fight. Okay, nice. Now we gotta not be executed if he has win wall, that'd be sick. Okay, nice. GG's guys, finally. Finally we won. But that's it for the Akshan episode. So thanks for watching guys and see y'all in the next one.